Hey guys, Apoc here, and welcome back to a brand new 12 win grand challenge deck. This time we are also going to be opening up our super magical chest that you see over at the bottom. And here's our 12 wins. But first, let's talk about the deck a little bit. Um, as you see, first, that this deck has four spells. That can sometimes lead to some awkward starting hands. So this deck really needs to get to the right counter for your opponent's threat. More so than a lot of other decks. And you will see, if it, my hand is sometimes has like three spells and only one troop, you really, really want to make the opponent make the first play, even if that means waiting some time. Which is okay, because your deck is excellent in Double Elixir. So, some decks, you know, get better in Double Elixir. This is one of them. Um, next, when you have the advantage, it's okay to cycle your graveyards very quickly. Sometimes I'll drop the Night Witch right at the bridge, followed up by a quick graveyard. This can be really threatening because the bats can be very hard to deal with when your opponent is already dealing with a Skeleton Swarm. Uh, this is particularly strong when they drop an Elixir Collector in the corner. So when they drop the Elixir Collector in the corner, you rush them with uh, your Night Witch plus the graveyard, and then say they drop uh, Goblin Gang, you can follow that up with your Poison, and all of a sudden, you know, their troops, are, their Goblin Gang's dead, their pump is dead, and you got all these troops on the tower. Sometimes that even takes the tower, or at least deals, you know, over a thousand damage. Last, I want to talk about that the P.E.K.K.A. should really be the least played card in your deck. And what I mean by that is that you really only want to play it when you're going to gain significant defensive value from it. Such as when you're countering a Golem, Giant, Bowler, or Hog Rider. Um, I don't normally start with her in the back unless I have a big lead and I don't have another troop to tank for Graveyard. Because she costs 7, you can't play her at the bridge and then Graveyard immediately. So that makes that hard. So in that situation I will play her in the back, but that's really only if I know that I have like a 2 or 3 elixir advantage and I can't get into a Graveyard rapidly. So let's start with these matches and then we'll do uh, and then we'll do our chest openings as we go. I gotta scroll up quite a bit here. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. So this first match is from someone from Korea 3. Sorry, can't pronounce your name. Um, as you see here, I'm going to fast forward just slightly because we are waiting. We're gonna wait quite a few seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go back to normal speed now. So the reason we're wait the reason we were waiting is because we only have our Night Witch. So he cycles his log, so we'll do the same. Because that means he's about ready to start playing. So now we finally know what side he's going to attack, so we'll drop our Night Witch on that same side. So this was important because now the Night Witch can help defend that graveyard. And then we got our executioner in the back uh, really cleaning up. And just as a little bit of uh, insurance, we tornado everything back. Tornado does kill skeletons, um, plus didn't let that knight get a couple hits on us. So I played an aggressive graveyard here so that it kept that knight witch alive. As we see, she did make some bats. And those bats are dealing a little bit of damage, uh, killing the skeletons, plus uh, now his executioner is down. So all in all, we are only about 100 behind. And now we're ready to uh, get set up. Plus we have a couple elixir lead here. So now you know, now we know what side we're fighting on. So now we know we can drop our P.E.K.K.A. safely. So he decides that he's going to rush, which is okay. Um, those skeletons did start to pick up a little bit more than I wanted to. So I did have to uh, log them down. But now we have our full health P.E.K.K.A. and our full health Night Witch ready to go. So what we're going to do here is he's going to drop his his executioner and our what we want to do is we want to surround that executioner so that he's in the middle so he doesn't get good value on throwing his axe at our at our graveyard. So this forced him to defensive graveyard. Um, then he had to log us back. Now this created all of our bats which are now being tanked for by the Pekka and that one little bat is going to town on that tower. Now our our uh, poison won't kill that tower at the moment. It does only deal 240, but that isn't enough. So 
as you see here, we drop our executioner in the back. This way, you can keep swinging forward at those at that graveyard, not allowing them to get any good hits. So he just accepts that his tower was going to die as Pekka just goes and gives it a big swipe. So I went for a Pekka in the middle just in case we were to lose our tower here, that we'd be ready. But our Night Witch was able to defend. So. That was for our 10th win. Not too bad. Let's go into the 11th. So, once again here. Uh, this time we do have skeletons in our hand. This does allow us to cycle to start. Um, so that we don't have to necessarily waste elixir. Usually if we cycle, so they will choose to play something. So he chooses to play his Goblin Gang, so we'll make sure that we play our Executioner on the side that has the more Goblins. Okay, so he plays his, uh, his Miner, and we can just Tornado back the rest of those Goblins so he doesn't get any, ch any extra chip damage in. So now we know that he's playing a Giant, that's going to make our Executioner just cross the bridge unfortunately, so it starts getting hit. But we'll have our P.E.K.K.A. already ready to get going. So, one of the big counters to Night Witch, we have a lot of them in this deck, is Poison. So, we were able to get a Poison down, good value on that Poison, hitting the Giant, the Mega Minion, and the Night Witch. Making that Mega Minion useless, making that Night Witch dead. There we go, no damage taken, and now we're ready to, uh, to start for the next. So, we'll just log down these, uh, these Goblins, and we're finally ready to get a good start on. So we can start with our knight which in the back, he'll start with his baby dragon. Baby dragon is pretty fast so he'll get over here uh, faster than uh, the knight witch. So we'll have our knight witch plus our executioner. Now we can tornado them all. Executioner does not die. All in all the only damage we're going to take is from that uh, is from that lightning. So we haven't made any offensive progress yet, but we now have that elixir lead that I was talking about, so we can drop that P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Uh, we were at one, two, three elixir positive before he was able to do anything. So he'll finally go with his Night Witch. So we are going to surround that Night Witch once again with our graveyard, just like we did uh, with that Executioner previously, and poison her down. So we want her dead so that those bats spawn and die. Now we weren't able to get a whole ton of damage off over here, but we did get a, uh, about 500. So we finally have that miner in a place that we can uh, handle with our, uh, with our skeletons. And then finally we were able to tank with that Night Witch, keeping our Executioner alive. So, which is very important, because that keeps him away from that Night Witch, and he's going to do some work here. He killed his Night Witch, then he had to spend it on the Zap, which is very nice. Once again, a couple extra hundred damage. So we'll lock down that Goblin Gang, and then we can counter this Miner one more time with our Skeletons. Now we can Night Witch in the back. Not making a ton of progress, he finally gets aggressive and drops that Giant. We can drop our P.E.K.K.A. right in front for a beautiful counter. Poison down his Night Witch. Now we have our Bats. We have a lone bat left, doing a little work. So, Pekka is able to one-shot that miner, that poor miner. <laughs> so now we have a couple skeletons coming across with our uh, executioner. Skeletons are able to build up, and then he still has to spend money on our executioner. I mean, elixir on our executioner, and now we're finally at tie. So we'll save our night witch. So this is where, this is the good part. Our bats are up, our P.E.K.K.A. is up, our Executioner is up, and here we go. He has to Giant to save, and now we got our, our uh, guys all on that tower. Skeletons building up, keep going, and that's going to be the end of the game. One good, one good graveyard, one dead tower. That's how it's done. So strong defense. Make sure you capitalize when you get ahead and turn those 
turn those value P.E.K.K.A.s, so we're able to crush that giant without him getting to the tower, then turn and get that P.E.K.K.A. on the counter-attack with our, uh... Then turn and get that P.E.K.K.A. on the counter-attack for our graveyard push. So let's get into our 12th win deck. 12th win match, and then we'll open up those chests. So, this is versus the ever-popular Battle Ram 3 Musketeers. And Pekka is amazing against Battle Ram. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. He goes for a pump. We drop our Night Witch. So, now we have, now we have a whole bunch of skeletons on the tower. We have our Night Witch dropping all these bats. We have our Poison down, our killing his, killing his pump. But the tower goes right on that first push. That is the strength of Night Witch plus Graveyard. It's very difficult to counter when you only got four elixir left when you drop that pump. So, he goes for an aggressive uh, minion horde plus miner. Turns out great, we both spend the same elixir. He gets one shot off with the miner. We activate our King's Tower. And, have, and he still has to spend on our on our executioner so all in all that winds up with a plus one and an activated king tower so that's very nice so this time he drops all of his three musketeers together that is a big big mistake he already knew we were playing poison so we're just able to poison log boom so that's a nice plus three, plus some chip damage. Now he has to respond to our Night Witch still. Unfortunately, we do not have a log for this. And that Battle Ram almost connects. It was a little bit too close for my, for my liking. I would say that's also bad placement on that Miner, as that did direct our Executioner onto his Goblin Gang. So, now with our big elixir lead, once again, this is when we drop our P.E.K.K.A. in the back. We don't want to drop our P.E.K.K.A. in the back unless we have a nice lead. So, he has now remembered that we have poison, so he's not going to make that mistake again. We have a nice P.E.K.K.A. Uh, Night Witch going on on the right. So, we'll drop our poison over on the left. We can log this all down. Unfortunately, that means that that minion horde is going to go to town and we do not have our... Uh, and we do not have our Executioner in rotation over there, so we are going to have to tornado them all back. And with that, because we killed the Miner, the tower will pick them all off. So, that was a bit aggressive on that, uh, on that graveyard. Not much, not too bad though. We'll just log everything back and just defend for that last second as there's really not much else going on. Tornado back, and that's good game well played. Number 12. Okay, so as promised, let's open up this 12 win chest and let's see what we get. Definitely needed that 22,000 gold. Restock a little bit of knights. Elite barbarians are terrible. <laughs> Always with the heal spells stacking up. Can't wait to get those rares, Max. Need that Musketeer and uh, Ice Golem badly so I can use them on ladder. Nice. Mega Minions. Mega Minions only about 150 away. Don't have the gold to upgrade them. Okay. We got our first epics. Four poisons. Lots of gold. Let's get it. Epics? Nice. Seven freeze. I think we're gonna get it. Oh yeah. Finally. After all these chest opens, I feel like it's been forever to get a legendary. So nice. We get a nice bandit. Let's take a quick screenshot of that. And now let's open up. We'll open up this real quick. Not too bad. So, and finally we get our beautiful super magical chest that I think this is only like the third or fourth one I've gotten the whole time I've been playing. And I've been playing since uh, since like the first day it was out. So here we go. 
Not as much gold as a uh, 12 win, but still beautiful. Over 5,000. 30 more Mega Minions. Closing that in. 120 to go, or about. There's those goblins. Minion Horde. Inferno Tower. 400 to go. Ton of heals. Ah, uh, 12 Expos. One card left. It's going to be 13 Epics. 13 Baby Dragons. Okay. Not too bad. Was really hoping to get a Night Witch. That would have been made, that would have made my day, but we did get a bandit from our 12 win chest. All in all, plus we were able to plus we were able to get, you know, counting the gold that transfers over, probably about uh, 30,000 gold or so. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this deck. And I hope that those tips help you out in your own grand challenges. Once again, good luck and peace.